Okay, I'm going to be doing a, an unboxing and a first look at the AeroCool V12 XT uh, Touch LCD Fan Controller. One of the main reasons I'm doing this review is, of course, you all seen my review that I did on the uh, Sky Kaze Master Pro uh, fan controller, and it's excellent. Well, I've seen this uh, for sale, and I've wondered how good a quality the LCD screen is, because that's going to either make or break this product. I mean, most fan controllers can control a fan pretty well, but uh, the reason why someone would get this is because of the LCD screen. I've looked on YouTube and looked at some reviews, and there's really no good high-definition pictures of what it looks like, so I'm going to try to accomplish that today. So let's go ahead and get into the box, let's see what we got. Okay, uh, there's the back of the box here. It kind of shows you what the display is supposed to look like. And, I mean, it looks, if the quality's there, I think it's going to be a very nice fan controller. You know, some LCD screens, are, uh, you know, don't look good from an, from an angle, and, and hopefully that's not going to be the case here. Looks to me like you got pretty good instructions. Uh, I've already briefly looked at them, so I think that's fine. Uh, and these instructions are in color, as you can see there. They are in color, so that's excellent. this off here, pull this out, and uh, okay, let me grab some soft, soft set it on. Set it on. Uh, it looks like it's packed fairly well, and kind of like the Silverstone product, the, the power supply that I just reviewed, or had an unboxing. All of its stuff's plugged in as well, as you can see right here. So I'm going to actually unplug all this mess so we can actually look at it. I don't know why they want to do that, but... I guess it doesn't get lost that way. And here is like a a parallel ribbon that has all the little temperature connections on it. Uh, it actually has a hard drive activity LED I'm actually looking at. So I mean that's, you all can see that. See where it says hard drive activity? I didn't know it actually done that so, and I probably won't be able to test that here because I won't have anything right away to hook up to it. So let me see if I can You know what, I'm going to just leave that on there for now. Because I'm going to need to have some examples of some temperatures anyways. So. Okay, let's look at the front of it. And there's the front of it. And uh, there's like a little vent area down here. I think it looks pretty nice myself. Uh, there's another AeroCool fan controller that actually has USB inputs and stuff like down here. And if anyone's buying a case that doesn't have that with it, then the case is too old. So I don't want to see any of those connections on my fan controller because I don't need any more. You know, I have two or three. I'm fine with that. So I, I like the, how they done that. So let me see. I'm going to go ahead and plug this up. We're going to see what okay, it looks like. That's the main plug the power up. That's going to be the power. And I've got a Molex here. <clears throat> Actually tells you power on there, so it's kind of hard to hook up the wrong one. Well, I'm having an issue plugging it up. Some of these Molex connectors are stiff and it's hard to get them. Okay, that's plugged up. So now I'll get the little... I got a button for my power supply, so this should turn on here. See what it looks like. Okay, it has turned on. Colin, get the lights for me, please. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Okay, there's what it looks like. Uh, if you want to monitor different fans, you just hit these buttons down here. Now, I'm looking from an angle, and it looks to me like it's a pretty high-quality uh look on the LCD, as far as I can tell. Colin, will you get the lights again? Sure. So, hard drive, CPU, so there's, there's some reflection there, you can kind of see it right there. So, let me, uh, let me get a fan hooked up to it and see what it looks like. 
Okay, after about a good 10 minutes of work, I think I got this controller figured out. Uh, I had to get the instructions out. Uh, I couldn't get the fan speeds to change. So what I have here is I got the AeroCool uh, V12 XT, and then I got a single 120 millimeter Zygmatech uh, crystal LED fan. And just on a side note, these fans are wonderful. They push a lot of air, and the actual LEDs are true red. They're not pink like uh, some companies have. Okay, let's okay take so let's take a look at the display. And there it is, and as you can tell, I mean, it looks very nice. Uh, let's go over what's on it. Here, depending on which uh, fan you have selected, you know, this is a graph on your speed, and there's uh, the digits of your speed. And right now, uh, fan 3 is what I have the Zygmatech fan hooked up to. And the one that's blinking here, I did that to show you if you have a fan that was running and it goes to zero, I unplugged it, it'll blink. So that's why the four is blinking. You can control four fans separately. See, I don't have anything hooked to number one, so if I uh, click on it, see it's showing zero RPMs. So let's go back to three. Uh, over here to the right, you have temperature sensors, and it's a graph representation of the temperature sensor and you can pick if there's four different temperatures CPU, VGA, hard drive, or system. You know, you can make those whatever you want, really. Uh, over here you can change it from uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit, which again, I normally use Celsius for computers and Fahrenheit for everything else. And then right here's the hard drive indicator. Now I'm not going to be able to show that today, but I believe it'll blink uh, when you have hard, okay. hard drive uh, And down here you got the Aero Cool logo, and if you touch it and hold, it'll turn the display off. And if you touch it anywhere, I think, it'll turn it back on. So that's basically the layout and how it works. Now let's go ahead and control a fan. So there's the Zygmatech running. It's running at 16, uh, 1600 RPM. So let's go ahead and do an adjustment. The screen locks automatically, so you got to unlock the screen. And then what you do is you touch on the RPMs, they start blinking, and then you can go ahead and I'll take it down to as low as it goes, 800 uh, RPMs. You click the 800 again, and now it starts slowing down. And that is what it's doing. You can see the fan slowing down, and you can see the uh, display and the graph and the RPMs going down. And it does it rather slowly. It doesn't get there just right now. It takes a, several seconds to get there. So, now you can see from this picture here where I'm not at the right angle, so it's hard to see uh, exactly what the display is telling you. Angle is very important. So let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and turn the light off, and we'll see what this looks like in the dark. Okay, lights are off. Uh, now the display, you don't see any reflection on it at all, so I will go ahead and pick the speed back up. So I will unlock the screen, I will click on the RPMs, they start blinking, and I will hit the plus key all the way to 1600, and I'll just lock it back. Now it seems like it speeds up pretty fast, and there's the fan there, of course that's a true red, it's, okay, it's so more what is red conclusion of this fan control? controller. Well, I'll tell you what, here, here's my conclusion. First of all, it controls fans fine. I think the touch screen's nice. Uh, there's no problems with that. But I'm going to show you something that I think could be a deal breaker. When the LCD screen looks good, uh, it's excellent. See, if I look and I tilt it to the top, see how you can see all the numbers clearly and everything looks perfect? Now watch if I tilt it the other way. So if your computer is going to sit higher than eye level, you do not want this fan controller. Look at that. That is, that's awful. And you go back, see? Now the side does pretty well. See, let me, I'm tilting it to the side. See, if you view it from an angle, it does pretty well. And straight on, it does okay. You can still see a little bit of that eight there. But if you go up, that's how it's supposed to look. And if you tilt it the other way, to me that's unacceptable. Arrow cool, you need to fix this. You know, not everyone, no one wants to look at an LCD screen and have to adjust to where their point of view is in order to read what it's doing. 
I mean, that, that is bad, and it gets worse as you go up. So, I mean, for me, it's kind of a deal breaker. I don't, I think you should be able to look at it from every angle. And so, like I said, overall, the fan controller does fine. Uh, when the LCD screen looks like it should, it looks really good. But there are certain angles, especially if you look up to it, that the LCD screen just breaks down, literally. It's not good at all. So uh, that was my review of the Aerocool V12 XT. Uh, please subscribe. Thank you.